what about cost savings? Let's go and let's take a look at something here. I'm gonna go back to at scale and show you our query log and, uh, and show you uh, a neat trick in Google BigQuery about estimating cost of queries. So here's that color and size query. It took seven seconds originally. And if you look at our, our inbound, you can see that we intercepted this query from uh, Tableau. But we actually rewrote the query to run it against BigQuery. And this is the query that we ran. Imagine your users having to write queries like this in BigQuery. Um, we do that for you. That's, it's, it's, uh, it's obviously very complicated to do a query like this. But uh, using at scale's machine generated SQL, we're going to do that for you and we're going to do it efficiently as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this into my, uh, my query. And what you're going to see over here on the right is that you see that this query is going to process 1.6 megabytes when run. Now what that means is that 1.6 megabytes is what it's, it's what it's what you're going to um, it's it's what you're going to pay on a per query basis because Google BigQuery um, one of their pricing models is uh, their base pricing model is based on the amount of data you're scanning. So let's keep that in mind. That's 1.6 1.6 megs. Um, let's go and uh, I have a little translator over here. You can see here Google Cloud has a, a very nifty um, uh, uh, cost analyzer. So you can do cost estimates here. Um, so be sure to use that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in my 1.6 megabytes here. I'm going to translate that to kilobytes because you're going to see why in a second. Okay, let's go back to Tableau and let's refresh this query right, one more time. Uh, okay, it actually did refresh. We saw how fast it was because at scale actually created in, in, in its adaptive cache an aggregate table. So let's go back and see what at scale did now. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh. Now you see that this new query, same color and size, this time it took less than a second, 834 milliseconds. So let's go and let's look at that query. This is the adaptive cache at work. And so here's the new query that it used, and you can see that we're using an aggregate instead of hitting the raw data. Now let's go back to big BigQuery. Let's replace that 1.6 megabyte query with our new at scale uh, query that's been optimized using our adaptive cache and look what happens. It's 1.2 kilobytes. So let's go and let's, let's do the calculation to see how much at scale would have saved you on this particular query. So that's 1600 kilobytes for the, app non, the, the original query, which was unoptimized. And the optimized query was 1.2 kilobytes. That's a 1,300 times um, cost savings just for that one query. So not only did that scale make that query fast from seven seconds to under one second, it also saved you a ton of money. So that's, the, that's a whirlwind tour of, of at scale and just how much we can improve and save, save you money, save you time, give you agility so you can introduce new data, data sources and get you moved to the, this great platform BigQuery as soon as possible.